Welcome to or welcome back to Supers Farm. We're the Supers and in this video I'm just showing you how I up pot some seedlings. Thanks for watching. All right you can see I leave my trays out in the rain so that nature can moisten them. Uh, it is well moistened. Hey there, Blessings family. I am on our front porch this afternoon, almost going into evening, um, trying something new with this camera stand. Actually, it's a phone stand. Um, I use my phone to do the videos. We are looking to get a like professional camera so I can step up our game. Um, but for now, I'm still using my phone. So just trying a different angle to see um, how this come you know this perspective comes across so anyway um i know it's been a while since you have heard from us or seen us um we've kind of taken a, a little break um me in particular i had um two bad falls um two weeks in a row i fell face forward the first week and the second week i fell flat on my butt <laughs> and I had the black, blue, and green bruises to prove it. So um, I really was trying to do a lot, get get prepared for the spring season. And um, anyway, I just needed to take a break. <laughs> so I am out here on our front porch doing some up potting. I have quite a few seeds that I need to up pot. And I showed you guys how I moistened the um, the mix using the rainwater. So I, I kind of I time when I'm going to use the soil if I can with when it's going to rain for that week. So I knew we had some rain coming today, this morning, early this morning, and so I sat these cells out in the rain. Um, you know, we got about four hours of rain. So what I'm gonna up pot is a mixture of things. I like planting a mixture of things in my seed starting cells. I like the way it looks, um, the diversity of it. I have herbs in here, flowers, and of course some vegetables. So tools that I have came with, we purchased some um, like seed starting cups from Amazon and it comes with these little tools here which I found really helpful in being able to kind of like get under the seedling to get the roots and then I use this one to kind of burrow a hole down in the pot that I'm going to up pot into and I mean you don't have to have tools to do this they came free with some pots that we purchased um, you know, prior to that, I believe I was using like a Sharpie marker, the, the end of it. So use what you have until you have something better. So I'm going to go ahead and up pot a bunch of my seedlings and I'll check back in with you when I'm done with it. All right, family. So I'm just showing you here the process of how I up pot um, the seedlings. What I'll do is use this little um, tool here to make the holes, right? And again, if you don't have the tool, it's fine. You can use a Sharpie marker or something. I don't know if you can see that hole. But anyway, um, then I will use the little shovel tool. If you don't have a shovel tool, popsicle sticks work just as fine to tease this out of the cell. And I have here a calendula, so I will just place that particular seedling down in the cell in which I made the hole with, and there you go. Um, sometimes, I, if the seedling is not, um, like if the soil from the seedling is dry, I'll just kind of wet it a little bit, and then I'll put it down in the pot that we're up potting in. And the soil in the up potting uh, pot is already moist as well so you don't necessarily have to do that the seedling will um, you know it just helps it out not have so much shock so um, that's the process of uh, potting the seedlings so 
I just moved because um, the angle was not working. But just two quick um, things that I want to mention. When you are initially planting your seeds, you want to use a soil that's really fine. Um, I use the soil mixture that has uh, peat moss and vermiculite. It's two parts peat moss to one part vermiculite. So you'll raise up your seeds in that mix. And you don't have to fertilize during that time. You're just gonna keep them under grow lights if you have it, or if your temperatures are conducive to growing seeds, you can actually grow them outside. That's what I've done for the past three years. This is my first year having uh, grow lights. The second thing is when you up pot from that, once you have true leaves on your plants, what I start to do is to introduce a little bit of the soil that they're eventually going to live in when I put them into my garden. So I'll have a little bit of that per, um, vermiculite and uh, peat moss mix. And then to that, I will go ahead and add a little perlite, which is the white little pebbles that you can get and um, some garden soil. I'll sift the big large pieces of wood and rocks and stuff out of the garden soil, but then I will mix that with the initial seed starting mix that they started out in. So I hope that clears up things a little bit. I hope that helps you um, on your seed starting journey. And thanks for watching. I hope to be back on a regular schedule uploading videos and we'll talk to you soon. Peace and blessings from Super Spawn.